I mean, I know the entire episode we know it was like the, you know, you know, like the continuing like the fight between all of this Metal Man, Odo Majida, and and Vegeta. You know, but it was still you know, so much special. You know, like and you know in this episode we also find out you know that um you know the Metal Man, the, I mean the, the the kind, I mean the race that uh, Odo Majida is, you know. Just you know, just fighting out. You know, like when they're insulted, they just can't. They just they just can't fight. You know, just in the same way we find out in the end of the episode. I mean, wow. So if someone, so if Vegeta had uh, insulted him much more before, he will stop fighting because he felt you know offended. You know, and everything. You know, especially you know and especially like he was feeling like you know right at the end of the episode. You know, like when like. He's, you know, like, you know, big ru Robert Winnie the Pooh type bear, you know, was like, with him, you know, you know, like, you know, trying, you know, to calm him down and everything, he, and, and you see, like, this robot, you know, like, oh, I was insulted, <laughs> I was insulted, because he called me use this piece of metal junk, you know, and he was like, oh, Okay, there's also one thing I forgot to mention about Odin Majida that makes me feel, you know, as an opponent. Okay, he, he looks funny because the only time what he's, what he, the only thing what he's ever doing is spinning lava, is spinning like this molten mold lava from his, from his mouth, you know, you know, just, you know, like making the temperature higher and higher and higher and higher, you know, and sounding like a pot, and sounding like a, and also sounding like a teapot firing from his head. Instead of his ass, you know, some people can see Odo and you know, like, he's not so much tough, you know, as he looks, you know, even if he's made of iron or something like that, you know. I mean, but it's still, you know, still, like I said, uh, still, of course, Odo Majida defeated, naturally, but still, Odo Majida was really quite impressive, you know, really quite impressive, mm -hmm. you know, even if, you know, Champa, like I said in the last episode, he, you know, him and Bad him and Bados, you know, they... You know, they, you know, for real, you know, like, uh, they just, you know, create this barrier, you know, like, uh, cube-like barrier, you know, just to make sure, like, you know, all the Vegeta can win, because the all the time that he ever did to Vegeta was, like, you know, rising the heat. Rising the heat, you know, so, like, you know, he big, so, like, you know, the oxygen, the oxygen could be, like, a lot more weak, and he, and also in that time, he will make, like, Vegeta weak, also, at that time. You know, and the, and I had to say, you know, like, and of course, you know, like, Chipa, Champa being like this cheating asshole, you know, he was just saying, oh, everything's fine, look at the bottom of the cube, you know, look at the bottom of the ring, you know, and you can see, like, all, like, the temperature that, you know, all the Majidas, you know, it's all going down, it's all going away, you know, like, it's not cheating, it's not cheating, you know, even if he did all that for cheat, you know, cheat. But whatever, 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 we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, yeah. So, that's one thing, you know, and the other thing is also really <laughs> fun, you know, it really fun and impressive, you know, because, for real, when the GM was so much pissed off and everything, you know, when he blow up, he blow up half of the ring, half of the, uh, half of the ring, he, you know, I thought like he's gonna, you know, with all this energy, you know, lightning coming out and everything, I thought like he really is gonna do I thought he would, for real, he would he would do the same thing what he did to Ma, uh, to Majin Buu in the beginning, you know, of in the Majin Buu saga of the old Dragon Ball Z. I thought he he, he he would do the same thing because we already know that the last time he did that, he turned to stone. In the short terms, he was a gunner, and of course, you know, like Goku had to had to go to the afterlife land, afterlife land, try to get him, try to get him back. You know. So, so let's just say that the, 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 this, this story will, will should be, you know will be repeated all over again. But of course, you know, like he created this like big energy, you know, and tried to fire back, you know, to uh, like Auto Magia, which actually I have to say, you know, it looks pretty damn powerful because after all, like I said, he destroyed half of the half of the stage. No, 
I mean, uh, half of the battle, uh, battle, battle station. Oh, uh, no, battle station. I mean, uh, half of the arena where, you know, and but still had to be, had to, you know, have to be impressive. You know, I'm a little bit surprised. You know, when Ultimate Gino tried to do his best, you know, try to hold the energy and everything. You know, even if, even if you know, Vegeta tried to strike him and everything. You know, even all that, I had to, you know, give some credit to Ultimate Gino. I really have to, you know, I really have to, you know. Even if, he's just, even if all of you, maybe he's just a stupid robot, a big, gigantic robot, like, who is himself, you know, just like in this episode, he was feeling like he was King Kong or something, you know? You know, and, you know, he's just, you know, overheating, just like a normal teapot, and, or even, and firing from his head. You know? And the one thing also I really found, which we can definitely say, an, an ultimate devil's luck. When, like, you know, when the uh, Olimagia tried to create from his molten lava, like, this big, some kind of, uh, stoned rock type maze, whatever, you know, try, you know, try to, try to strike down Vegeta, you know, and he was right at the bottom of the ring, and everybody was feeling like, oh, he lost everything, you know, even though I was a little bit surprised, you know, but then, of course, the most fearless judge, you know, uh, fearless, you know, fear, uh, fearless judge of the entire universe, of Universe 6, of course, uh, he came there, and you can see that he's still safe because he landed a little piece of rock, or should I say, piece of the stage, which should make him safe. And that's what we can call Devil's Luck. But of course, for, for Vegeta, you know, was, you know, all that, you know, means shit, you know. Because, you know, everybody, you know, everyone knows how who really Vegeta is, you know, feeling high on stuff, you know, me, you know, me, the Prince of Saiyan, you know, this happening to me. The prince is saying, me playing my rules, you know, giving advice to everything. Ah! Sorry. But I mean, you, you get the idea, you know? Well, actually, I have to say, you know, it's been really, 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 really a real long time since I see Vegeta so much pissed off. Oh, no, wait, that was in the Battle of Gods. I mean, he was really pissed for, for, you know, when Beerus hit Bulma, but whatever. He, I mean, yeah, it was in the Battle of Gods, you know, it was actually not so much, not so much, a long, a long time ago. Whatever. No, <laughs> Whatever, whatever. He was really, really pissed, you know. One thing also, like, you know, when, like, the energy that Vegeta was giving, you know, with all his anger, and he destroyed the entire cube like barrier, and all the rest, you know, a few of them goes to the Chump Champa team, the other goes to the Beerus team, you know, and Sting actually hit, uh, hit, you know, like, just stopping one piece of the uh, barrier, barrier, which looks like, like glass, you know, it was actually pretty impressive, you know, even if Vegeta at the end, you know, he was all the time, you know, he was thinking about him, you know, like, sensing, like, it, 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 sensing, like, his power and everything, which definitely I can tell, in the way how I see it, that Hit is the most strongest, you know, just like finally in the manga, that he is the strongest of the team, you know, even if, even if fair enough, fair enough, I, even at the beginning, I thought Frost is gonna be, you know, just like, you know, just like Frieza was in Universe 7, I thought, you know, at the beginning that Frost, it's gonna be like the strongest in the team, you know. But of course, what we after we find out he was a cocky, you know, a cheating son of a bitch, you know, just almost just like Frieza. Then, and of course, you know, defeated with just one punch, uh, you know, from Vegeta. We, I can say, I was proven wrong. And for now, I can see the most powerful wall is gonna be hit. Well, with all being said, all Vegeta is out of the game. And of course, you know, the next one. Who they're gonna fight? We they're gonna fight the the Saiyan from Universe Six, which I definitely can wait to see. I really can wait to see his full potential and everything. You know, I really can wait to see. It. I really can wait to see. It, yeah, you know the other things I forgot to mention is that we, we actually I, I found funny was you know when you know when like you know Buma you know the time you know the scene you know when Buma was angry you know and every time when Buma is angry he always she always wants something to grab. Or a man, or a thing, but most preferably a, a person. Yeah, most most preferably, I, I, I mean, sh she prefers a person, you know, to grab, you know, you know, strangle because of anger and everything. Most mostly because of Vegeta being a stubborn bastard, you know, like like always, you know. But then it was you had Jacko chain himself with the pig, you know, and he, and he was like, Phew. now that was actually particularly funny, especially in Bulma style. We all, well, well, hell, we all know that Bulma is a wild card. And I don't mean wild card, you know, as a trap card or something. I mean, it's a wild card. I mean, Bulma style, wild card. You know? So, with all being said, Omegita has been defeated. 
Next one to match is the Saiyan from Universe 6, which I really can't wait to see his full potential. I really, I really can't wait to see, you know, the, the, you know, I, or he's like, he's gonna be like, you know, transforming into Super Saiyan like them, or he has some kind of like other techniques, you know, to, to use, you know, I, I'm really, really interesting to see what his full potential, I mean, what his potential, I mean, what, what, what kind of power he has. Yeah, that's the good, that's a good, uh, that's a, yeah, that's good to say. What kind of power he has, you know? So, with all being said, overall, the episode was pretty quite simple, you know, when, when it comes to fight on the Vegeta against the uh, Vegeta, it was actually pretty impressive, you know. And in particular, you know, a little bit you know, dramatic, you know, funny at the end, like, you know, seeing, like, Vegeta being so insulted, you know, just starting to cry, you know, like a little baby and everything, you know. It was pretty funny, you know, including Bulma scene, you know, and Vegeta being a robot and his techniques, what he, and his techniques, what he was doing. You know, overall, the episode was pretty impressive. The animation was actually pretty, uh, pretty good, you know. And I have to say one thing about the animation, you know. Uh, the animation since the Champa Saga started, the animation, the animation really starts, you know, to be getting better, better, and better. I mean, that's the way how I see, it, you know. The rest is, I mean, it's my own personal opinion. So, you know, me said the third time episode was this episode was pretty, pretty good. I give it a good plus, you know. So here I am done. Rate the video, comment, subscribe, please. Give me all personal thoughts about all the Magida. What do you think is gonna be this the same the universe six Saiyan powers? Every single comment you wish uh, you wish to la to leave in the comment section down below. Please leave it and we'll discuss it. So drop a like or appreciate that. Peace everyone, have an awesome rest of the day. Laurel Shadows like always signing off. See you next time.